Yuri Dmitrovich, the 26th of November 1374, Poslav Zelensky, the 5th of June 1434, also known as George II of Moscow, Yuri of Zvnigrod and Juraj Zvenerodsky, was the second son of Dmitry Donskoy. He was the Duke of Zvnigrod and Galich from 1389 until his death. During the reign of his brother Vasily I, he took part in the campaigns against Torzok, 1392, Zukotin, 1414, and Novgorod, 1417. He was the chief orchestrator of the Muscovite civil war against his nephew, Vasily II, in the course of which he twice took Moscow, in 1433 and 1434, by his wife, Anastasia the daughter of Yuri of Smolensk. Yuri had three sons, Vasily Kozoy, Dmitry Shemyaka, and Dmitry Krasny. The marriage to Anastasia made him the brother-in-law of Svitry Gala, Grand Duke of Lithuania. Inheritance and claims At his father's death, Yuri received in appanage the towns of Zvnigrod, Ruza, and Galich. Upon his brother's death, Yuri immediately asserted his claim to the throne of Muscovy against that of Vasily's son, Vasily II. He referenced the old house law of the House of Rurik, whereby the senior throne in the dynasty passed from brother to brother, rather than from further to son. He also interpreted in his favor the testament of Dmitry Donskoy, written at the time when Vasily had been unmarried and childless. Treaty with Vasily II. In 1430, Yuri and his nephew decided that the issue would be settled in the Golden Horde. The client supported the claim of Vasily II but allowed Yuri to take the appanage of his deceased younger brother, Peter of Dmitrov. This decision did not fully satisfy Vasily, who took Dmitrov by force and expelled Yuri's governor from the town in 1432. In response, Yuri rallied his forces and advanced on Proslavl Zelensky. Vasily, too, was defeated on the bank of the Klyazma River and fled to Kostroma. After that, Yuri entered Moscow in triumph and proclaimed himself Grand Duke. Instead of imprisoning his nephew, Yuri allowed him to settle in Kolomna and rule the town as his appanage. This show of magnanimity cost him dearly, as scores of Muscovite boyars and noblemen fled to Vasily's court in Kolomna. This shift in momentum impelled Yuri to conclude a treaty with Vasily, whereby the uncle renounced his claims to Moscow, promised to deny assistance to his sons and exchanged Dmitrov for other territories. Vasily returned to Moscow, while Yuri withdrew to Galich. Further conflicts The following year, Kozoy and Shemyaka defeated Vasily II on the banks of the Kus River. The Grand Prince was informed that Yuri's troops had been seen among his enemies and decided to punish him for this treachery. In winter 1434, he set Galich ablaze, but Yuri had escaped northward to Belizisk. On 16 March, the armies of the uncle and the nephew clashed between Rostov and Proslav. Vasily's army was roundly defeated and he sought refuge in Nizhny in Novgorod. On the 31st of March 1434, on the bright week Wednesday, Yuri again entered Moscow, where he captured Vasily's family and treasury. He was preparing a new campaign against Vasily when he died suddenly, on the 5th of July 1434, succeeded by his eldest son, Vasily Kozoy. 